Good morning. <clears throat> Good morning. It is November 7th. Time is ticking away. And I'm in this like little segue <laughs> of an experience. <laughs> It's just a light and love. I welcome you into directing, protecting the messages, my doctors, my orders, my spice, my work, my essence, my health and wellness, and that of my children's. Thanks so very much. You know, I'm I'm trying to um no, I am focusing on the wonderful things that are coming forward, even if and when they are motioned by not the most tasteful of occurrences. <laughs> it's okay, you know, like sometimes, you know, when we're just looking at the like grounded aspect of getting through the motions of things, um, let's say something is very grueling and somebody has to do the job and you love the place that you work at, you respect your boss and their ways, etc. And we, but we cannot um, overlook this, this thing, these things that need to be done. So you accept the responsibility of pushing that forward, of moving things forward. And and you're, you're trying to do it as graceful as possible, gracefully as possible. So um, you do it, and instead of like going full on grinning and bearing it, you're just like, you respect the process so much <laughs> that um, you're not gonna judge it. You're not gonna judge how it's dished on the plate for you. That's what's going on right now. So it's, I don't even want to call it funky. It's just this weird thing that I have not felt. <laughs> I don't think ever <laughs> in this lifetime before. So I'm in this transitory state. There's a lot of things that are, um, are on the task list but for some reason there's like this tunnel vision that I'm getting right now and it's not bad it's this is the way it's supposed to happen like when you're in the eye of the storm it's just like <sighs> everything else becomes a blur which isn't bad okay this is it's <sighs> It's, it's it's calming, but at the same time, I feel very torn because I know that, you know, there's, you know, some BS going on, but that's not even my focus. It's just kind of one of those things that you acknowledge is also happening, but you don't give it that much weight. I've had, we've had so much practice in that, that it kind of, it just comes natural by default. That's where it's supposed to be. That's where it's, for wherever it lands, it's supposed to land wherever it is. And, and so this is good because I, I feel like I'm being supremely guided right now, but in a, in a space where I'm like in a fishbowl. So heavily monitored, but not micromanaged. And given the space to digest its happenings and to fully experience, I don't know why I keep getting like a full bodied cup. <laughs> so I, I'm not like an avid wine, wine drinker, drink uh, enthusiast. Um, so that's what they're talking about. There's something about being full bodied and appreciating all of the notes and flavors that go along with it. 
because this experience is not a singular one. It's, it's, it's comprehensive of all of these things that make it like so. Um, it's its own brew. And, um, you know, it, it, that doesn't go without death because there's like a fermentation that's uh, very custom to those blends, okay? So that's where I'm at right now. So I can say I'm appreciative of it. I am definitely confused by it. <laughs> Uh, and confused is not the word. It's just, it's unfamiliar. And I'm not feeling aversion to it. I'm just, I'm so used to knowing when, like, I'm so used to just knowing. <laughs> and you're probably, um, in that phase of your life of also just knowing certain ongoings like expect like just patterns etc and knowing yourself so for me if i don't know what's going on like exactly what's around me and i'm not supposed to pay attention to like pry at every single detail I'm used to feeling this way or that way, like stressed. Normally, I would feel super duper 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 stressed. And I don't know if that's what I'm feeling. <laughs> I don't think that's all that I'm feeling here. Like, I, I, it's strange because I feel like I should be there. So at least that's a comfortable space for me to say that like, just just kind of box it in and there's so much more to it so i feel like maybe this is a forced avenue where we are meant to examine what grace is like under pressure <laughs> with ease <laughs> like what are you gonna do <laughs> You, you you got this far <laughs> and there's a part of me where there's like a sense of urgency but everything's already pre-calculated so if you're going through this phase in your life where you're like um sorry i just <sighs> if you're going through this phase in your life where It's hard to put words to. Like you don't, you don't in, um, you don't anticipate these feels when you're in high priestess mode. It's not even a mode at this point when you're identified as a high priestess and you practice as such. Maybe for a baby high priestess? I, I, don't, I don't know. I, it just... I didn't picture a high priestess ever feeling these things. So, uh, that's where we're at. I didn't even think I was going to be doing a reading, but this is so strange for me. I know that there are a lot of things to do and there were some wrenches thrown in today. I, I want to talk about them, but I don't know if it's important enough to divulge at this time. Like, I have already pushed the envelope in what I've already talked about. So I don't, I wouldn't, I, I couldn't imagine my boss feeling particularly proud or 
enthusiastic about me persisting uh, in vocalizing certain things. So she's not the enemy and I don't want to engage that aspect of her. Um, given I feel like she extended this opportunity as a favor um, to my situation, especially given the timing of it. And that's just one thing alone. But even how she carries about in her ways, I think um, I'm being presented as also a challenge for her to digest because I don't, like, I'm not supposed to be doing a reading on her, goodness gracious. But just out of respect, like, I feel like I need to pace myself a little bit more just to express a weird gesture of gratitude for where I'm at right now, okay? Um, there were some, some suspicions today, though. Um, so I'm going to just bookmark it, okay? We can talk about it later, Angels of Light and Love, if, if it's really, 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 really that important. Um, you know, just let me know when and to what context so I can present that accordingly. Otherwise, I don't want to take it upon myself as, you know, seating of the board to just lay it all out there. Um, I realize that everyone has realms of growth and extensions, and I want to respect the pace of those that I already do respect. <laughs> so, uh, let's get with this. I don't know what it is. <laughs> So, oh, low pitch ringing. Um, there's nine people here, and it's 1.28 a.m. And it's it's loud, but it's low pitched. Why is that? Why is that? Am I going to have to put this on again? Give me a second. Hold on. Oh. Okay. Give me a second. So why did we get that? Why did we get that little pitch ringing in my ear? <laughs> Six of Pentacles. Beauty. It's about an exchange. This is reciprocation. Okay, so I'd have to say that my my boss appreciates that gesture. Because it's like, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. <laughs> I, sa I said... Let, let's go out for a swim. Let, let's, let's, you know, have a last hurrah for summer. I didn't, I didn't say, like, jump in the lake, like, go skinny dipping in the lake. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what they're saying. Okay? Basically. So this is reciprocation of trust. Um, something about a diamond here. Um, I don't know. Baseball's diamond? I don't know why I'm getting that. I think it's because it's kind of like the batting cages. As above, so below. I don't know why I'm getting that here. I, I don't even know if she likes baseball or, you know, I don't even know. Um, but, like, that's, you know, like in the batting cages, how they shoot the ball. Okay, so it's kind of like that within its um, fast forward motion. Um, so as above, so below. This is practice. This is... Um, Kind of, kind of joshing around with your capabilities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. So, um, I feel like it's going outside of the box, even though the box presents growth here, okay? This open box is a gift. And so in it is a, not just a diamond, a golden diamond, but also a rainbow. Uh... Hmm. Okay. What else do we want to say about this? So it's about extending oneself because um, diamond is just a, an extended um, view of a square. So it's just kind of like stretching stretching oneself um, capabilities. 
yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. Okay. All right, so there's that. Okay, anything else you want to say, Spirit? But, like, why did I get the low pitch ringing? Usually the low pitch ringing is kind of a warning. A... Why did I get that? Some things are mixed up. Like, if I don't get these messages as frequently or as consistent, yeah, as consistently, I forget how to interpret them. So I have to, it's like resetting the pattern. Hmm. Why did, why did I get that? Was it, was that the singular card that, that conveyed why I, my clear audience hit just like automatic? I mean, there was something else that happened in its exact timing. So let me see. Is there any, okay, so there's that. Father of Water, King of Cups, extroverted. Oh, okay. So there are some energies out there that are not moving in the wisest of ways, okay? <laughs> See, now I'm, I'm told to say something, just a little bit, okay? Just a minor thing. Um, that the person that I was taking over for, her last day was Friday. However, she decided to come in today to button up a few things. And, you know, like, this is a very good company who has good heart in what they do. There's a lot of hard workers. I would say uh, more than most, okay? And so you go along with that culture, with its full embodiment, and... um. To me, I'd say just flat out, it's honorable when someone wants to give, you know, more. However, someone that's been there for only a couple of years and seeing the things that I've already assessed at first glance, putting all the puzzle pieces together Nobody gives six hours of their excess time to drive a few cities away to button up a few things that they've said that they're saying goodbye to. There's something very suspicious starting off at that point alone. Okay? So... The thing is, is that we allow people to unfold on their own. Now, whether that may be, um, now the truth is always going to be telling. Um, it's just a matter of whether someone's being genuine or not. And so we allow those things to organically happen. Um, and that way, within karmic value, uh, they, that sentience must take full accountability for their actions because that was fully willed by their own part. And so I got the clear audience coming in full blown because someone has tapped into my sentience, my, some, some realm of my sentience, um, yeah, that's what happened today. Yeah, nothing's, yeah, I'm telling you. All right, so because of that, that was a clear warning um, for those who are tampering to back off. And that is an absolute warning. Like spirit, 
in cash, if not Jesus Christ, is like on alert mode for, for us is, what do you call it, like policing the ethers for us, even our physical environment, for sure. That's what's happening here. So that, that high-pitched warning, it's been a while since I received that because it's kind of confusing. I, I'm like, I didn't do anything. I don't remember, like, there's... An, and, and it's tied to other sentience that is, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, so that is a clear warning. Okay. All right. Um, anything else that you want to say with regards to that? Jesus Christ, spirit and cash, what do you want to say? You know... <laughs> there are others out there too that support us greatly that are highly intuitive super duper talented within their um gifts and um are responsible they are protectors um within this realm and um they may or may not believe in the same religious aspects as we do. However, that is not a hindrance to um, the cause. And so those differences are um, also add flavor to the mix. We learn about each other inevitably and gain appreciation for each other. Um, and because of that common thread, um, they also assist in the realm of protection. So I'm getting like PIs too. So, um, there are people in the background, <laughs> um, not just in the, not just sentience in the ethers that are protecting us at this time. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So thank you. <laughs> okay. Anything else, Spirit? That one? Made some sound. Four of Cups. The Flood. <laughs> what does this mean? This is weird because Four of Cups is usually like the obvious answer, right? Oh, and talking about differences, the context to this is this is a no-brainer. So when we're talking about the appreciation, oh, there's four people here um, that it shows anyway on the ringer. But um, when we're talking about the appreciation of each being able to hold their own and being part of like this of the same unit, uh, it's just again we're talking about comprehensive here. Uh, this is something that's. Like four of cups, okay. In the standard view is um, pointing to the obvious uh, of what should be foregone um, outside of ourselves as well as inside of ourselves or perspective and the obvious ding, 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 ding answer, okay? So again, that ding, ding, ding is a ring is what I'm hearing here. So this is a collective experience where it's like north, south, east, west. Um, these four are combining, you know, giving. They are contributing to this ring here. So this is obviously a collective experience regardless, but this is a willful collective experience um, where they invest together. They work together. So this obvious state of mind, uh, let's say we ground it and we say like 3D world. Oh yeah, we just work together. No, we invest together. We invest in the same thing, okay? So that's what it's saying there. Hmm. Okay, all right. 
so there's that. Interesting. Okay, so there's a f <sighs> this concept so far in the three cards that are presented here. I, I was going to say um, is indicating some gaps, but it's really not. It's a lot of wiggle room presented in this larger scope, this larger idea. So this is not just one flat out thing that we're talking about. This is something that's a higher level um, thought process. Um, and so it's not just a lifestyle. These are delivered, choices delivered on a higher scale. And everything that we consider gaps are facets of, let's say, the spokes of an umbrella, okay? This wheel of an umbrella that we're talking about. So this wheel of an umbrella can rotate, okay? Uh, and there's something about that there, though. It rotates in the rain or in the sun. So it has its own dial. Something about that. I don't know why. But anyway, each spoke is uh, an underlying idea that adds to the whole thing. So that's what we're looking at here. That's why spirit is here in cash. Just like, just regular just regular. Okay. So, some people kind of get, I don't know if annoyed is the word, but some people may think that I overuse this realm of protection. Not to take advantage of it, but just, okay, okay, we get it, Tina, we get it, Tina. Um, but here it's particularly emphasizing the spirit isn't just like coming in to like, hey, rescue me or whatever. Um, this is spirit coming in to protect an over, oh, wait, was it? And I'm hearing overlying, not underlying theme, um, a greater concept, um, greater plans in store because of our capabilities there's a presentation of this new avenue because we've elevated we've heightened we've up leveled our game mm -hmm. our investments prove such okay mother of earth yeah our investments prove such uh we put more love out there than we normally do we're not even, our normal normal is not normal <laughs> anymore. <laughs> we've, we've raised the bar. Mm -hmm. There's something Asian about this garb here. Because you see, you know like a geisha girl? You have like all those like ribbons and that, I don't know why. I'm just seeing that right there. Like a gold bar. Hmm. Oh, isn't like a gold bar considered a certain rating? Something about that. Anyway, definitely. Um, in fact, when it comes to geishas, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Um, I don't know what all of those things represent. I don't know what that represents. <laughs> Um, because I, I know it's got to be just more, more than just an aesthetic. Hmm. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, seven of swords inverted, many tongues. So, there's a lot that can be said about us. In fact, there's a lot being said or that's already been said about us. Um, I'm not taking this as deceitful, um, but 
it's seen many tongues and they're all tied up here. So what's been said before, oh, what's been said before about us is not necessarily true because it was just a singular snapshot in when of ourselves within a certain context what, um, by, by, said by mouths of whatever sentience was feeling a certain way within a separate context. You know what I mean? It's... So there's a sense of chaos within all of that. And some people, not just getting tongue-tied, but realizing they spoke too soon about us. There's so much more. They're like, but, 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 wait, I didn't know you were like that. Um, so, again, we're not saying like, oh, you're bad, you're bad, you're bad, you fucked up, you know, whatever. You're not doing that, okay? Here, it's saying we're realizing the culture that we've con allowed ourselves to be conditioned and condition ourselves into uh endorse basically uh is the folly of living a fast-paced life so when you're kind of working on a level of um like this high speed um chase um there's Naturally, impatience that can be easily paired up with that. So you don't really give people the opportunity. You don't give people the chance. You don't give yourself really uh, some space to really think about things, to really digest uh, the full-bodied experience. And uh, that's what's happening here, okay? Okay. So what Spirit is doing is looking at the zoomed out version of all these things that are going on. Mm -hmm. Cause, because when you're stuck in the middle of this stuff, um, it's hard to see things for what they really are. You just know you're freaking tangled. Somebody's in your shoe, like somebody's standing on your shoe and things are, you know, just wires are being crossed, etc. Even some hexes. Uh-huh. Yeah, definitely. I know that's Aquarius right there, but uh, it, that, that motion in this particular avenue presents to me something... Like, that's, like, chaotic, like a hex. Um, yeah. I really feel like that. So, there's that that's happening. I'm starting to get a little tired. It's weird. <laughs> okay. Anything else that you want to say, Spirit? Next up, open channel. Oh, this is great. It's, re it's in reverse. Um, it means that we are full on connecting now and we are celebrated for that. Okay. Um, I know that in this world, you can, I, you can go either way. Like you gain some, you lose some, you can't win them all. Um, it, and especially it's, kind of irritating uh when you go to like divination artists or even like the doctor and you say it could be this but then it could be that and both are opposing <laughs> it's crazy so um what it's what we're saying here um oh that we're that the ratio overall is saying that we are absolutely celebrated. We are absolute winners. The open channel has connected. It's undeniable. That's what's taking place right here. Okay? With us, for sure. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, there's something about an eclipse here. Okay, you see? There's something shining right behind it. But, oh my gosh, I haven't, I haven't channeled in a stone that we should work with in a while. And this one is telling me um, it's a like a blue sapphire. You see? Because then it's it's an eclipse. This is not completely like a bad guy, bad guy. Um, there's something about the eclipse that highlights the profile of what's in front of it. Mm. Yeah, something about that. So I don't know if there's another eclipse. This has to do with the next eclipse. And the trailing events of what was initiated on the last full moon and Taurus lunar eclipse. That whatever happened there has engaged us. Like, kind of, like, hauled us in. You know, like, the umbrella has a U thing where you hold it. I kept, I was, I, I was told, to, like, I, I was, <laughs> I don't want to say it. I'm getting tongue-tied here. I was told to say something about it, and I was going to say something about it, but I'm like, I'm over-explaining, I'm over-explaining, no, no, no. And I didn't want to just metaphorically twist everything into this and that. I just wanted to get the message across, but now they're saying, okay, just say it. So even when that umbrella is um, brought down, Okay, it's no longer a rainy day or a scorching hot day where we have to protect ourselves from the, the externals, okay? So that's let down, okay? We're going inside or we're walking outside and like everything's fine and clear. Um, however, what had just happened on this like ecliptic episode, some people, someone has epilepsy here. Epil epilepsy? Yeah, something about that. Something about that. Okay, I'll, you'll, they'll tell me. Anyway, the hook is um, almost like hauling us in. Okay. So, um, it's not about one taking over the spotlight of another. It's about the value of when two things are... Um, shadow aspect aligned almost there's there's something about that there where both are highlighted in different ways we pay attention to them more uh we're more entranced by uh what it how it presents itself because it's rarity as well as subconsciously what that meant um, from the gods uh, of our ancestors mm -hmm, of ancient years. And so mesmerized is the word. It has this mesmerized effect. I'm, I'm getting like, you know that TikTok theme song not it's not a theme song but that egyptian tune that plays and it's supposed to remind cats of their prestige and from way 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 back how they were um revered and you should watch them it's, it's kind of crazy like that but it's i'm getting that kind of picture here so anyway let's move on All right, so what do you think? So I think with the whole, like you gain some, you lose some, etc. There's there's no real spotlight on that. Because if you get it, you get it. If you don't, it's no harm, no foul. It's just, a, you know, everyone just moves on. So that's where we're at. And I feel like it's on the verge of something like huge growth. Um, I've been told that in my 
kind of destiny in my readings for a while now. But it's it happens when it's supposed to happen, which means that there are qualifying events and behaviors and acknowledgments that need to happen before that unfoldment in order to ensure long-term like legendary success. And this is not a formula you can copy or whatever. This is just something that just is. So <laughs> there's something about, um, it's not just being nonchalant. It's not, <laughs> it's not, I choose to be this way. <laughs> it's, it's something that it just, it just clicks. So that's what I'm being told right now. Oh, hey, what? Oh. I don't know what's going on with this, okay? All right. What's going on? Okay. Six of wands in reverse and temperance in reverse. So there's... Definitely going to be like a prospectively success and like even keeled success. That's what they're talking about. It's about to come up. It's about to come up. You see, this is this looks like a weather vane thing, right? So that's what's being. Like, and this is like an ant antenna, like freaking, uh, there's something here that is perspective here. This, that's insanity. Okay. <laughs> Bottom of the deck is mother of water in reverse. You feel it, Tina. I know. I know it's about to happen. So flat out face value. There may not be like tons of confidence in, in all of this stuff i don't even want to verbalize it like that because that's just like you're absolutely dumbing it down that way dumbing down your capabilities what it's saying is that this is a strange world we live in <laughs> ever changing ever stranging <laughs> so um there's um a need to and a legitimacy in giving back to ourselves, refueling ourselves, loving ourselves, ultimately feeling ourselves, feeling our moments, etc. Because to like fly by it, like to fly by the seat of your plants and then fly through the, the, all of the motions of it, you, you don't really get to feel what glory actually could mean in its most developed sense. So we're worthy of that. So move accordingly. Mm -hmm. move accordingly feel accordingly so what they're saying is um feel it in its absolute form and by that value we move others mm -hmm. that's what they're saying what's behind it i'm just curious ace of fire again ace, ace of wands in reverse um a force to be reckoned with for sure this is tidal wave energy yeah, oh my gosh, because we're, we're, we're accessing it from like the nether regions, the ne like inner earth is what they're saying. I know this is not the queen of pentacles here, but we already received that here. So that's what's motioning all of this. It's like untapped reserves. This is like a wishing well that's been birthed on the inside. So when we're stirring things up, it's kind of this whirlpool is um, summoning and kind of drilling a hole into Mother Earth and accessing that inner well. Whoa, that's interesting. <laughs> What's beneath that? The struggle in reverse. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this is a natural drill. Oh, you know, like uh, those practice drills that we have? Um... It's, it's kind of like that. 
Except this is not a practice. This is, oh, but it is a practice. <laughs> Is, what is it? It's not a faux drill. It's um, it's for reals, for reals in the practice. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, top of the deck, nine of swords, the screen. So they cannot emphasize this enough that there's a this realm where it's just like it's not iffy. It's just what is <laughs> this? Is weird. Um, like a fun house mirror, okay? So that's what's happening here. Um, there's, it's throwing us off a little bit, but that's only to screen our calls, screen our calling, screen, screen our desires, screen everybody else when, when, there's, when there's incoming energy because this is a highly sensitive um, portion in our lives. Highly receptive. Six of swords in reverse. Yeah, so um, this thing, uh, they're saying, um, even though there's all this emphasis, there's also an emphasis for us to remain chill. Mm -hmm. Just chill out. It's cool. Just go with it, okay? Um, yeah. Yeah, and then since we saw the three cards, what's on the top for the third one? Three of Pentacles. So there's a build um, here. There's a new construct in place, and this is also the workplace. This is all. This is also institutions. This is also um, educational um, environments, um, whether it's online or in person. But this is. These are new establishments, strong ones, like the shield, protective, uh, and what's it, Captain America threefold. Mm -hmm. That's what it's saying there. Wonderful. It's wonderful. So this new development is a depiction of new growth. Uh, because that's the same green that we experience here in the Six of Earth, that open box item. Uh, so our intentions follow through accordingly. And when we first talked about the Six of Earth here, uh, there was a little bit of an, an anecdote that tied into um, my boss and the intentions and all of that. And um, so... It's, it's looking really, really good because even though there was a little bit of um, uneasiness, kind of like motion sickness with um, the recent moves, um, that it proves to be worthy. And, uh, and so this is how the divine wanted to convey it from there to here. So, uh, yeah, so trust in it because... It's not only looking good, but it professes this outcome. Mm -hmm. It's already kind of insured in that because, dude, we have some sentience that's employed, a certain program that's employed in order to um, um, s not siphon. Um, uh, just bring the juice in, basically. No pulp, no extras, no whatever, okay? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. No seed, like nothing that would interrupt true flow. True mojo. Because <laughs> that's our status right now. Okay, what is this? Brother of water in reverse. Knight of cups in reverse. Why do we have the knight of cups in reverse? Why do we have the Knight of Cups in reverse? Because I'm seeing like the height here is qualifying growth. So have do we have what does that mean? Um, Sister of Swords. So Page of Swords. Hmm. There's something about um, our learnings 
where we come off like Zorro, okay? With our right hand, okay? So in this transformation, we lead it, okay? Um, so it's like those slashes are, it's like a growth chart where we, we see how far we've come. Yeah, that's what it's saying. Huh. With where we've put our love. You know the weirdest thing though? Is that... I don't know. Like growth spurts happen in the weirdest of places, let me tell you. When we're talking about humans, when we're talking about like our pets, it's like all of a sudden... One day, it's like overnight, like, what happened? That's what's, that's what's happening there. And it's usually when someone is like left alone, like just kind of put out there. It's weird. That's weird. <laughs> So, um, I don't know what to say about that. Eight of Cups in reverse. So it is definitely a comeback. Oh, look. New house on the new plot of land right there. That's what's happening. You know, like the blocks that you put into the, the holes or whatever when you're, uh, elementary like pre-k type of toy um to test your cognitive skills now i don't want to bring it down to that level but this because i know that some people are also recuperating and they have to use that in part of their therapy when getting when healing from something that is uh, majorly traumatic to one's sentience so I don't want anybody to feel bad about their progress in having to go through all of that. So something about that there. Mm -hmm. uh, this is being landed in a new plot of land. This comeback is like, oh, I found my temple. It's bigger than what I thought it was. You know? It's like I thought I checked into a motel just because I needed some place to sleep. But it ended up being like a, you know, hotel or a castle or whatever, okay? So that's what's happening there. And what proves it is this plot of land that's been given to us. So... Being propagated. Um, lifted out and put into a new avenue. Interesting. Okay, last one, two of pentacles, cause and effect. Things are loading right now, mm -hmm. and they're locked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the balance are in. They were just like, shh, about it, so nobody could um, tamper or fumble with it, you know? No added stressors on either side, those that meant ill intent and those who were trying to secure it, so... There's protection in both avenues there. They're just like, this is what's really happening on the inner circle, okay? This is happening. And they let it happen, and they're like, okay, it's done. Just announcing it. It's done. Dude, who's here? <laughs> who's here? <laughs> Can I read for you? What's going on? Who are you? Eye of fire, nine of wands in reverse, okay? Oh! You're letting me read for you. Somebody who is letting down their guard. But only for one. <laughs> you see, it's like a spotlight. Like, very guarded, laser pointed, all red lasers. Like, UFO. Like, I'm kind of a one of a kind. And I have chosen you. Like, beam me up. You know, that kind of thing. Um, so, it's like... If I'm going to lower down my guard, it's going to be for a particular reason, particular, like, particular choice. So, I have been chosen. It's okay. Uh, yeah. Interesting. 
Mm. Okay. Well, that's cool. I'm glad. Good. Okay. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to pick one more card for you. No, I want to get one card for me. Just me. Okay. Just me. Sister of Earth. Page of Pentacles. Okay. It's time to play ball. Hmm. Something about auric fields being lit. Like rainbow. You see that? Hmm. Oh, like the octopus. Um, spirit totem. You see? Bulbous. Like that. Mm-hmm. And lit in different areas. So there's certain parts of our cognition, or my cognition, that have been activated. And also protective, like highly adaptable. Those those activated parts are also highly protective. Mm -hmm. This is great. Okay, wonderful. Now, what about for us? I, I promise you it's the last one, okay? <laughs> okay. Ace of Swords in reverse. Dawn. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. So. Something about a sharpening of the sword. You see? Like when you sharpen it, it has all those like cuts or whatever. All the... There's something about that there. So, we're not focused on whether the slate is clean or dirty or whatever. We're focused on the slate because it's a slate and we can sharpen our sword. That's what's happening here. That's for us. Excellent. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that because it's the truth and it's, you know, it's kind of neutral. You know what I mean? It, it, it's, it's good. Um, I think that's it now. Oh, should I have taken a picture of these things? Holy smokes, let's do it. Gosh, how did we have it? Like that, like that. Okay. Then the house. And then these things right here. And that. Okay, excuse me. Gotta move. Gotta move. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that's it. That's it, baby. All right. Um, all right. All good. All good. So now that this reading is officially over, I thank all my sponsors, all my supporters, all donations provided in light and love. They are appreciated. <laughs> um, so... Upon closing these portals, I send all energies back to their appropriate locations outside of mine where the appropriate commas do, assisting with that rollout, that sequence. And light and love. I close the portals in this reading. now.